Okay, Maggie, I'm going to show you how to do this because Dr. Bright and I were actually just working on VoiceThread for something we're doing. So um, if you are the one that uploaded it, so if your um, VoiceThread looks like this, what you need to do now is on this share, I know this comment, yes, you can do that, but you don't have to do it right there. So click on that share as the person, and then you need to go here to this who has access and it defaults to private like yours probably looks like that C click on that and do anyone can comment and then go back over here to basic and make sure that allow anyone to view and comment are both checked and then copy that link and then send that to your um, group members and then um what they will do once they get into the web, the voice thread itself is remember from technology for educators, you just click on here and then you can make your voice comment there. And everybody that you send this link to should be able to do that, no matter if they are the creator of the voice thread or just a, um, a viewer. And so um, make sure that they are signed in though. So I know who's making the comment. I'll probably be able to tell by their voice. But um, anyway, that's how you would do it. Let me know if that um, works or not and we can figure something else out if not.